Hi and welcome back to Up The Shed. Tonight I just want to go through some of the eBay finds that I've had that have been really really good deals for the shop. The PayPal donations that we get will help me fund those with my money so that I can expand the workshop, expand the equipment and the tools that we've got up here to take on bigger and better projects to make better content for you guys. Well, as always if you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button down in the corner, whichever one it is, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so this is what we'll start off with. So this was a really, really great find. This coming from a, an engineer shop, an old engineer. Um, it's a Alfred Herbert Limited uh, Edgewick Arbor Press. It's a number one. Now I couldn't find any information about this. So if anybody knows about them or has any information, then please leave a comment. That will be greatly received. With this came this. This is a little Kennedy hacksaw that came to me in bits and pieces. This was about three or four months ago and I've since I've had it, I've put a new shaft in. We've got some bronze bearings that I've made that fit in here um, because there was none there, essentially. There are a couple of belts, but they don't fit this particular model. They're a bit too small, so I need to get a belt for that. Uh, but from what I can tell, it runs, or it should run. The in, the motor runs, so that's good. Um, so yeah, so we just need to get a belt in there and give it a bit of a clean up and, and then get it running. Um, so that was a really good night. As they, they both came together from an old engineer shop and it was very, very kind, the gentleman that I bought them from, uh, from when I went and collected them. And uh, lovely guy, if I'd have had more money, I would have bought his whole shop, I'm sure. My most recent buy, my, my most recent find, is this high speed steel um, 20 pieces I believe there or thereabouts um, that I've got um, and this is a fantastic find this cost me about 25 pounds so you know, pound a piece doesn't go uh, it's not too bad and a lot of these have actually been ground um, to have certain contours or certain things done on them so as you can see there that's a, a specialist grind there um, on some of these. I doubt very much that will be any use to me. Um, I'll must be end up regrinding these to do left and right turning as and when I need them um, for parting off. Possibly though we can make some profiles on them for cutting rounds and, and, and whatnot else um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And finally tonight on this little episode we've got this lovely little 4x6 metal saw metal bandsaw um, this came to me about five months ago um, in quite a state it's as it is it came in this metal box which had a it's got a motor in it unfortunately it doesn't work as a little pump motor um, everything else runs fine I've been using it for cutting drive it looks like someone tried to modify this to get it as a to have coolant running through it um, I've just kept the trailer underneath because it keeps all the rubbish that comes off but I haven't managed to get the pump working yet. Whether I will or not, um, I, I really don't know. So we'll just have a, have a we'll have to have a, a play with that when the time is right. And before I forget, one last thing is this tiny little cutter that I managed to get my hands on. Uh, this was about two and a half months ago. Um, this will cut up to about six millimeters um, bar it will cut a half inch uh, round and um, it's a nice piece of kit a bit too big for my little workshop at the moment so I need to plan where this is going to go um, still needs a bit of a clean up and uh, a bit of a not exactly a bit of a polish but a bit of a clean up and an oil um, with all of the tools up here they're all functional I don't intend to restore anything back to factory I just want to make them functional and get them to actually do what they're meant to do well that's the end of this little episode hopefully you've enjoyed seeing the small amount of tooling and equipment that i do get coming into the shed um, as i say ebay finds are still there you just really need to, to look for them and as i said before any of the paypal donations that i get will help go towards funding that equipment that ultimately will make the experience in here much better supply more content for you guys taking on bigger projects so on and so forth 
If you've enjoyed tonight's video, then please like and subscribe. And as always, um, thanks for watching and stay safe. And we'll see you next week. Thank you.